Hello again! The kitchen room boxes I've been working on for the past half year are finally finished and I've put some of my own miniatures in there and I'm giving you a little tour. The kitchens are based on 17th century kitchens and especially the ones that can be seen in the 17th and 18th century doll's houses. And these kitchens are made to display 17th and 18th century silver miniatures. Not mine. I made these kitchens for someone else. Of course, the door is all open and the inside of the cabinets are painted in a traditional red color. I've done a tiny bit of aging on the room box, on everything, the cabinets, the windows, the, the tiles, the little the corners of the room box and the beams. Not much, just a little bit, because I didn't want it to look dirty. I just wanted it to, to look a little bit more used. Um, and if you do too much, it becomes yeah old and dirty, and that would just look wrong against those beautiful silver pieces, pieces that will be in there. The little gate leg table was made by escutcheon and it really is the wrong color for this time period but it was the only table i could find in the time frame i had and it still looks very pretty in there as you know i made three of these kitchen room boxes and they're pretty much identical I'm very pleased with how they turned out. Another project finished. Another parcel came in the mail. And this one is again from Germany. And um, it's for my 60s dolls. Gosh, nicely packed in these boxes. I don't know what's in here. Oh, yeah. flower box. I really like those things. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. Hmm. Oh this one this one I just couldn't resist. This as actually isn't um 60s but more 50s but i thought it would look really cool it's a working tv well not working but uh, there's a light in there which is working and then the screen lights up and then you can turn this and you get different uh picture pictures and i thought that was just so fun uh so i bought it and i think it will look nice because of the colors even though it's 50s and not 60s. Yeah, I really like that. That's part of the 
outdoor set. An umbrella, sun umbrella. Kitchen table. Well, actually, I'm going to use that in the living room because I don't have enough room in the kitchen. And that's another outdoor table, but I can use, I don't know if I'll use that in the garden or maybe in the living room. And another table, that came as a set and I wanted the chairs and that was part of it, so. But they're all in good condition. Something's going on in the garden. There's a bird making a, a lot of noise. Maybe there's a cat. I'll look later. Oh yeah, <laughs> and a wonderful little lamp. And again, it's working. And I just love all these colors. They're so bright and cheerful. And they, of course, go really well with that 60s doll's house. Yeah, these are the chairs. They came with the table I liked, but I didn't really like the chairs. <laughs> but I can use them for something. And maybe I'll throw something on the back and you don't see that large back. And these chairs... They are similar to the ones I had in my doll's house and, you know, the, those furnishings, they went missing, as did the whole doll's house, but uh, swivel chairs. Love these. So much fun. And then there's these. These I like better. Um, the type of chairs. And the last bit. That actually is a, like a coffee and tea set. Or a coffee set with a couple of cups and plates. I'll embed that later. So yep. Yeah. Lots of wonderful stuff. I think that's all. that's all. There we are, all of them together. And uh, I'm really happy with this. Um, I think there's such fun pieces. And I think I'll make some uh, seat covers and um, some other, you know, soft, furnish soft uh, furnishings for them. Pillows or cushions. Uh, in some funky colors and um, we'll jazz them up a little bit but for now this is I really like these pieces
I am at the Art Museum or the Kunstmuseum in The Hague today, where they have this wonderful 18th century doll's house. And I'm sure you've seen pictures of it before. And um, this is just a little preview because I don't have time to edit the um, footage I'm taking today. Because by the time you will see this, or at least at the time my vlog will be live, I will be in London. So <laughs> I'm just showing you this uh, little preview and then you will see the rest of it at a later date. Well, you might say it, it get, it's getting boring, but um, yet another parcel. And um, let's see if I can get this out. Yeah. Little gift. Not sure what it is. But it's from Sun. From oh, it's a toothbrush. Um, oh, they're little toothbrushes. I think I need a better, better pair of glasses. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but I ordered this, and you saw in last week's video. Um, I was given a gift on my birthday by my friend and um, it's from the same maker and I ordered something from her a few weeks ago but she had been to Chicago so she didn't have time to send it to me but um, here it is now and oh, there we are Oh, look. Those are my initials on there. So it's a personalized box, wooden box. Lovely initials on there. And then, oh, when you open it, They all fell out. <laughs> I have to put them back in. Let me do that first. Okay, I put them back in. So it's a miniature drafting set or compass set. And um, these can come out if you want to. It's a wooden box. It's really, really nice. And uh, as I said, my initials are on the top. It's a little bit of I don't know what that is. Maybe I can sand that off. But I really like this and um it's going in my uh 
the workshop room I've been working on for some time. Um, that's the room with the sink and the... Uh, I'll show you. It's a mess in there, but I can show you sh some of the better pictures of it. But that's what it's for. So, yeah, lovely box. This is the room it will go into, and it's the um, studio workshop at the basement level, close to the kitchen. And so far I've made um, the workbench or the, the desk at the back of the room and the, um, the sink. And I made um, a brick wall, a painted brick wall. And uh, but this is where where the um, drafting set will live eventually. I still need to do a lot of work on it, but you know, slow and steady. And um, in the meantime, I'll be collecting some lovely miniatures for it, like another another really nice miniature I bought a few years ago already in Kensington. Um, at the fair was these Swedish clogs which I really liked and um, this is where I'm going next so like I said before at the uh, when I was at the museum if you're watching this now on Friday the day it, it comes out I'll be at the fair at the Dolls House Fair in Kensington in London so I'll see you next week and maybe I'll have some footage of the fair then. So, see you next time!